five reasons why we decided to move our family to Mexico in October of 2021. The average house price on Vancouver Island is $728,000. The average price in Cabo, which is like the Beverly Hills of Mexico, is $200,000. We knew we were going to face some economic upset where the cost of living was going to skyrocket. And so we knew we could spend a third of the cost of living living down here on a family adventure than we would if we were up on the island. Our daughter has the opportunity to be immersed in Spanish and will be fluent by the end of this year. And we're learning Spanish too. And the truth is, I don't think I would have made the time if I wasn't immersed in it. This is winter. Who doesn't love tacos and tequila? That's just a side note. But the community of people that we have met down here really are in it to help other people. All the locals are so kind and welcoming. We feel so grateful that we get to experience this culture with our daughter. Our family moved from Canada to Mexico just over a year ago. And here's a day in the life of, we get up and we walk our daughter to school in the morning with our dog, Larry. And then Larry and I go for a bigger walk because we both need some exercise. And we check out the gorgeous views in Cabo San Lucas. And then Larry and I head to the beach, which is my happy place to put our feet in the sand or our face. Look how happy he is. And then I head home and do a little bit of work looking out at that beautiful pool we have and meet with some friends via Zoom or clients. And then we get ready for lunch and head over to Gardenia's, our favorite taco place. Mmm, so freaking good. Then we head over to check out a property for my husband's clients. And, oh, there's my Jeep. Gosh, I love having that down here. Uh, we check out this three-bedroom, three-bath in this small 15-unit community, which is really cool, with some ocean views. Pretty nice. And then we get ready and head over to El Huerto, our favorite farm-to-table restaurant. Look at these gardens. Look at the decor. Uh, it is a heaven for Instagrammers who want to take photos, but we just love the food here. It is one of my happy places. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that craft cocktail. Come on. And the food is absolutely farm fresh, straight to your table. It is so freaking good. Uh, you can't beat this place. And really great company. We're here with some of Ryan's mentors and his parents. Hi, mom. And we're celebrating Ryan's birthday with some sort of fireworks in his cake. And then we head out to the grounds where you can have a fire pit with your friends and sip on some wine. It's absolutely stunning. And then we do what we do every Friday night and go to the art walk, which I love local artists. And then we're home to watch the fireworks from our balcony, which we see every night. I think that the worst manipulation that we have been taught to believe is that we have to work ourselves into the ground in our young years so that we can retire when we're old. They have created the perfect system to use up our lives and then give us a treat when it's over. We watch our lives slip away, but we're told that it's okay because you worked up in the company. The thing that I wish you knew sooner is that it's okay if you don't know what's going to happen next. And you don't have to have all the answers in order to make your next step. Society will tell you that you need to have this immaculate plan in order to be happy or successful, but I think it all comes down to how much you really trust yourself. 